Hello YouTube, hello everybody. Today we'll be doing an unboxing on this amazing BMS. It's one, two, three, smart BMS generation three for four cells of lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is suitable for many other types of batteries, including LTO, lithium iron or lithium iron phosphate, as we'll be using. Let's get started. Here we have a warning. Be careful when mounting the cell boards. Touching the components on the board with metal parts can lead to a short circuit and damage the board. See the instructions manual on our website, it says. Here we have images. Here we have one of the boards. I hope you can see that. I think it's a in-between cell. Yeah, it says right here. And also here we have the begin board. Where the current sensors go. And this is the end board again. And this is a in-between and another in-between cell. Next we have this current sensor. It's a 500 amp current sensor. As you can see, it's pretty large. I can fit my finger for it. Then we have another current sensor, another 500 amp current sensor, one for inbound currents, one for outbound currents. We have this piece of wire to attach the in between cells and the begin and the end cell together. And here is an anti-lock pin for the system. Next we'll be looking at the application for the BMS. Here we can see the options. Input solar panel current, battery current and load. Here are going to be the cells. Uh, this is going to be graphs with daily input. And here we have the options, solar peak power, inverter peak power, battery capacity, current sensor, critical mode, uh, we'll not be using that for now. Here you can change the pin, clear energy counters, here you can switch the relays on and off for discharge and charge, minimum voltage, maximum voltage, voltage bypass, temperature minimum, temperature maximum, charge restart and charge restart for um, when charging and discharge restart for when discharging this is so the relays don't switch on and off on and off really fast. This is prevent anti-locking for the screen I think and here we have simulator mode and we're gonna do that now so you can see how it works. Here we have the options. Now everything is inputted for lithium iron phosphate. Here we can see the input voltages, watts, amperage. Actually not voltages, but amperage and watts. You can see the voltage on the battery, the watts on the battery, how many kilowatts you have, percentage of charge, here we can see the load, how many amperes it takes, how many watts, how many kilowatts it took today, and total. Here we can see the cells. This is in simulator mode again, we'll only be using four cells. Here we have the, the log. It says uh, that we have some problems, but it's just simulator mode, so don't worry. Here we can see a state of charge for 7 days, that's pretty cool I guess. 
yeah so this is the BMS we'll be using I hope you like it and let me know what you think in the comment section below have a good one guys bye